Hello, in this video we're going to look at duopsony competition. Duopsony is similar to the Carnot model. In duopsony, each firm simultaneously chooses a quantity of labor to hire, whereas in Carnot, they're choosing output. We're going to have a Nash equilibrium here, where each firm is hiring the profit-maximizing number of workers, given the number of workers hired by the other firm. Neither firm has an incentive to change its hiring choice. There are two firms that each have the following production function. Each firm sells its product at the going market price of $10. The inverse market supply of labor, the only input used by the firms, is given by the equation W equals L, where W is the wage and L is the total quantity of labor. And the total quantity of labor is going to equal L subscript A plus L subscript B, that is the labor employed by firm A plus the labor employed by firm B. So making that substitution in for L, we can set the inverse market supply of labor equal to the following equation. And we want to calculate how much labor does each firm hire and what is the equilibrium wage. Let's start with firm A. Firm A is going to maximize profit, which is revenue minus cost, where revenue is price is $10 times the output of firm A minus the wage times the number of workers used by firm A. So we're going to make some substitutions. The price is $10. The quantity here is going to be 100L or for firm A 100L subscript A. And then the wage we're going to plug in W for W L subscript A plus L subscript B and that's all multiplied by L subscript A. Simplifying that expression, and now we're going to take a partial derivative of the profit function with respect to L subscript A, set that result equal to zero because we're maximizing, and we get back this result. Rewriting that last result and solving for L subscript A, I'm going to divide through by two now, and this could be considered firm A's reaction function. It'll show you the profit maximizing number of workers that firm A should hire given the number of workers firm B hires. Uh, now we're going to do a, basically the same thing for firm B. We're going to maximize firm B's profit, making your substitutions, simplifying, taking a partial derivative of the profit function with respect to firm B's labor, setting that result equal to zero, and now solving for L subscript B. So we have L subscript B equation and an L subscript A equation. I'm going to substitute one into the other. So we have the following result. And now solving for L subscript A. 50 minus 250 leaves us with 250. And then subtracting 0.25L from both sides, we have 0.75L on the left-hand side. Little division. Firm A should hire a little over 333 workers. And as for firm B, we'll plug this 333.33 into firm B's reaction function. And firm B will also hire 333.33 workers. In terms of the wage in the market, it's going to be $666.66. If this was a competitive market, competitive input market, the value of the marginal product of labor would equal the wage. So here's the production function. The marginal product is 100, just a derivative of this with respect to labor. So the value of the marginal product is price times marginal product, 10 times 100, or 1,000. And we're going to set 1,000 equal to the wage. And recall what the wage equation was. Wage equals L. And so the number of workers hired would be 1,000. And since W equals L, those workers would be paid $1,000 each. If this was a monopsony outcome, the value of the marginal product would equal the marginal cost of labor. So let's first get the marginal cost of labor. So ignoring fixed cost, uh, cost equals wage times labor. What is W? What is L? So making a substitution in for W, so the wage equation just equals L. Simplifying. Now we're going to take a derivative of this cost equation with respect to labor, and that'll be the marginal cost of labor. Setting 
the value of the marginal product, 1,000 equal to the marginal cost of labor and solving for L. L equals 500 and the wage is 500. So you can see that the duopsony outcome is between the competitive outcome and the monopsony outcome. Very similar to Carnot. Carnot falls between the competitive outcome and the monopoly outcome. All right, I will stop here.